A massive crack in the ground that's estimated to be up to 50 feet deep has opened up in Kenya seemingly overnight. It's quite phenomenal, really, Vlad. I mean, it's about 50 feet deep and 60 feet wide. It's pretty scary, like here, which is wider than 20 meters, and other sections which are so deep you cannot see the bottom. We cannot say that the whole area is not going to be affected and we should move. But what's important right now is to do a thorough study and find out where are these weaknesses. Although politics and country borders have been changing from a long time, but the planet's physical layout had been assumed to be permanent, right? We are not talking about our typical volcano outbursts, but about how the formation of a brand new ocean is in motion right in the heart of Africa. About like 200 million years ago, the supercontinent Pangaea, which used to cover the whole territory of Earth, started to disintegrate. Scientists are now predicting that a new continent will form when Africa splits. Africa could be split into two parts by the formation of a new ocean in the distant future, according to researchers. Two major sections of the continent are splitting apart, which could result in the creation of a new body of water that is an ocean. It would mean that landlocked countries, such as Uganda and Zambia, could have coastlines in a few years. The tectonic plates have been steadily separating apart, and will eventually separate to produce a new continent and an ocean in Africa. When will this happen, and how serious is the situation? Stick around till the end as we go through this one in detail. It's possible to stand on that point, where the continent is splitting apart quite deep underground, along an arid stretch of East Africa's Afar area. This whole stretch is standing on the confluence of three tectonic plates, that are slowly ripping away from each other, a complex geological process that scientists predict may split Africa in two and create a new ocean basin millions of years in future. For now, the most visible evidence is a 35-mile-long fracture in the Ethiopian desert. The formation of the East African Rift, a 56-kilometer-long rift in the deserts of Ethiopia formed in 2005, marked the beginning of the creation of a new sea. The formation of this new ocean is expected to be at least 5 to 10 million years. But this region's advantageous placement at the boundaries of the Somali, Nubian, and Arabian plates make it a unique laboratory for studying intricate tectonic processes. Christopher Moore, a Ph.D. doctorate student at the University of Leeds in the United Kingdom, saw the red haze of lava flows at a few kilometers distant while standing close to a lava lake at the summit of a large volcano. This may appear to be an unusual sight, but at Ethiopia's Erda Ale, it's business as usual. This is the only place on Earth where you can study how continental rift becomes an oceanic rift," said Christopher Moore, who used satellite radar to monitor volcanic activity in East Africa. The crust of the Earth is made up of enormous tectonic plates, irregularly formed rocky slabs, which constantly crush against, slide beneath, or stretch apart from one another. The Arabian plate has been sliding away from Africa for the past 30 million years resulting in the formation of the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden between the two connected land masses. But in eastern Africa, the Somali Plate has also been separating from the Nubian Plate, tearing apart along the East African Rift Valley. But there are still some significant unknowns, including what is causing the continent to drift away. Some believe that the region's continental rift is being driven by a large plume of superheated rocks erupting from the mantle beneath East Africa. The crust of the Earth is made up of a number of plates, which move across the mantle, which is the rocky inner layer that is located above the core of the Earth. Plate tectonics refers to the process through which the Earth's plates move apart and together as a result of convection, which occurs when hotter material near the Earth's core rises while cooler convective rocks sink. Plates tend to draw apart near mid-ocean ridges, which results in spaces being created between the various tectonic plates. The plates continue to move apart as a result of the expansion of magma at the ridges, which results in the formation of a new ocean crust. Volcanoes and other natural phenomena, such as the San Andreas Fault in California, are also caused by the movement of the tectonic plates that underlie the Earth's crust. How does a new ocean form? Scientists are using new satellite measurements to understand even more how the plates in Africa are moving and to examine the slow development of a new ocean. Scientists are still unsure as to what is causing these plates to separate. One scenario is, a giant plum of superheated materials is emerging from the mantle beneath East Africa, 
accelerating the continent's fissure. Cynthia Ebbinger, who is a geophysicist at Tulane University in New Orleans, has led several field study expeditions in the area. She researched that 35-mile gap that popped out in Ethiopia's desert back in 2005. According to her, the break was the equivalent of hundreds of years of tectonic plate movements, in just a few of days. Her research has revealed that the rifting process is not always smooth, and does not occur at a constant rate. Sometimes, just as in Ethiopia, there can be some powerful, unexpected jerks. She believes that the magma pressure, which is growing at a constant rate, is generating explosive eruptions like the one in Africa. Like a balloon that is overfilled to the point it could rupture at the least touch. We're trying to understand the straw that breaks the camel's back. She explained. She believes that the rising magma pressure is causing the explosive episodes. All these rifting occurrences will eventually change the African continent over time. Each plate boundary in the said region is spreading at a different rate but the combined forces of these separating plates will eventually form a mid-ocean ridge system, giving birth to a new ocean. Advanced GPS sensors over the last few years have enabled scientists to obtain precise measurements of how the ground moves over time. According to Ken McDonald, a marine geophysicist and a professor S at the University of California, Santa Barbara, with GPS measurements, you can measure rates of movement down to a few millimeters per year. As we get more and more measurements from GPS, we can get a much greater sense of what's going on. The three plates separate at various rates. According to him, the Arabian plate is separating from Africa at a rate of around one inch per year, while the two African plates are separating at a rate of half an inch to 0.2 inch per year. The Gulf of Aden and the Red Sea will flood in over the Afar region and into the East African Rift Valley and become a new ocean and that part of East Africa will become its own separate small continent. He said, As the plates separate, material from deep within the earth rises to the surface, forming oceanic crust at the ridges. We can see that oceanic crust is starting to form, because it's distinctly different from continental crust in its composition and density. Moore said, What causes a continent to split? According to one theory, mantle plume from below have caused the African continent to rise and split. Geologists have long been able to distinguish distinct tectonic settings and plate borders. For decades, divergent, collisional, and transformed borders have been identified. It is less clear how one barrier transitions into another. Continental rifts are not all the same, and some fail to produce true oceanic spreading. The Mid-Continent Rift, for example, was the location of a failed effort to separate North America some 1.1 billion years ago. Dr. James Hammond, a seismologist from the University of Bristol who has been working in Afar, claims that parts of the region are below sea level and that the ocean is only separated from Eritrea by a 20-meter block of land. Eventually this will drift apart. He told the BBC World Service. The sea will flood in and will start to create this new ocean. It will pull apart, sink down deeper and deeper, and eventually. Parts of southern Ethiopia, Somalia will drift off, create a new island, and will have a smaller Africa and a very big island that floats out into the Indian Ocean. The researchers consider themselves extraordinarily fortunate that they were able to witness the birth of this ocean, considering the process is generally shrouded beneath the seas. The team hopes to undertake experiments in the area that will help them understand how the Earth's surface is shaped. They hope that studying the Earth's formation will help scientists better comprehend natural risks such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Let's hear what you have to say about this new forming ocean in the comments section. As always thanks for watching our video. See you in the next one.